Hey everyone, in the last video we made our own snowfall and tried to use the basic concepts to make something better. This time we would again move an object around but the movement would be user controlled. Last time if you remember it was pre-programmed. So if I say user controlled that means we would take the keyboard inputs and move our figure around the screen according to those inputs. I hope you remember the key module we talked about in the second video. Now it's time we put that to use. Let's get to the code right away. We would go stepwise, initializing Pygame, setting up a screen. The screen size, I have taken it to be 500 by 500. You can take any screen size, not a problem. I have also set up a caption, which is moving the given object. Then we have declared the initial position of the object as x, y. It is 100, 100. It is the position on screen we would find our object right after we run the code. Cool. Then we have to set up the speed. The speed by which the object would move. The speed by which we want the object to move. So it is set up to 3, which means the object should be displayed by 3 units along the given axis on pressing the respective key once. Then we have the size of the object. I have tried to make a man figure with a circle and rectangle. It's my object. That's what I want to move around. So this width and height is for that rectangle. If you didn't understand, you would get it when I draw the figure. Okay. So then we have our game loop, the regular one. I have given a time delay of 10 milliseconds so that object doesn't run and we can observe the defined speed properly. Delay is used to pause the program and so we have a refreshed screen after that. Then we have our events loop used for handling events and quit the program if asked to do so. Then I have taken a key variable that would contain a list or sequence of the status of all the keys on the keyboard. Key is a list of booleans that can be accessed like this. We just access it like a normal list, but the indexing is done using the key constants. So this is done with the help of unders get underscore pressed method. The one key that is pressed, its state is true. Other keys have a false state. So I have these four conditions. My object can move around in only four directions. Left, right, up and down. So accordingly, I have these four conditions. When I press the left arrow key, I will reduce the speed units from current x coordinate. When the right arrow key is pressed, I will increment the x coordinate by speed units. And similarly, for going up and down, I decrease or increase the y coordinate respectively. I would print what arrow key I have pressed or so that it is it is easy for you to understand and there is no confusion. This x greater than 0 and x less than 500 minus width, then y greater than 0, y less than 500 minus height. These all conditions are used to keep the object within the screen so that the object doesn't run out of the screen. So that should be easy to understand. Now this is the code for making my man figure. So it's just a circle on a rectangle. So you use the rect function in draw to draw a rectangle. Here x, y are the coordinates or position of the rectangle and width and height are for the size. Then there is a circle. Now to place the circle right on top middle of the rectangle, I found the mid of the width and also reduced y axis by 5 so that there is just an overlap of two units between rectangle and the circle. I hope you understand the height of the rectangle was 7 and if I reduce the y-axis this 7 by 5 there is an overlap of only two units. Hope you can visualize it. Then we update the program and let's run it. Okay so this is what we get when we run this code, we find our object at the initialized position. It's 100, 100. It's at coordinates 100, 100. 
Now, if I press the right arrow key, I should see right arrow key printed and the object should also move right. Cool. Let's do it once. The object move right and right arrow key was also printed. Let me press the down arrow key. So it should move down. It moved down. The object moved down. Now let's try for left arrow key. We have left arrow key printed and it also moved left. Let me press left arrow key again. So yeah, it's going left. Again, I'm going to press left arrow key. Yeah. So let me take it to the origin. Cool. In the next video, we would try to make the snake game. We would try to create that on our own. A video game. A live working video game. For that, this moving object program would be very important. If you understood this moving object program, then the snake game program would be very easy for you. And uh, from the next video onwards, we would put to use all that we have learned till now, all the basics that we have learned till now. And things are going to be very interesting. So from now on, we would look at the real application of Pygame module, which is video game creation. Things are going to be very fun and easy. I hope you are understanding what all I have explained till now everything that I have taught you. Thank you.